Hello everybody, this is DJ Selene, also known as Miss Corn. I'm over here in my classroom trying to plan for the next school year that will be starting in about a week. So this time in the past would be when I would come and set up my class, get the centers ready, get everything ready for the students. But I came today to just try to get an idea of the materials and supplies I'm going to be sending home to my students, getting an idea of some of the worksheets and folders that I'm going to be making for my students, getting my plan book. This year we're going to start teaching from home and um, of course we have more experience than before and of course there are, the stakes are higher, more is required. But for today what I'm trying to get together are some basic supplies like glue and scissors and papers and a little backpack for them all right i'm over here at the dollar tree finding some cool stuff to send home uh, for my students i got this binders where we're going to be putting some activities i'll show it to you later and i found this really cool tweezers for fine motor skills and i'm thinking about making a game out of this so i'll show you more as I get more stuff. Let's go. So I'm going to get these little containers. They can put their scissors and their glue and their manipulatives and keep it all in one place. So when we need it, it's ready. Okay, I am back at my school and I am packing things that I'll be sending home with my students. I wanted to share with you the things I got. You saw me, you know, at the Dollar Tree store trying to find some supplies. I love this box that I found. Let me show you what I put inside. I'm sending uh, two different color Play-Dohs that I also got at the Dollar Tree store. I am sending molds to play with Play-Doh. I got this little bag at the Dollar Tree, came with 20 pieces. Probably gonna give two or three to each student so they can use their Play-Doh. I might be getting during the small group time um, just like an activity where we play with Play-Doh. They, uh, they do it at their house, I do it at my house because you know the little, little tiny ones, they need to use and develop their fine motor skills and that helps them with writing later on. So I put some activities here. And again, you know, this is the beginning of the year. Of course, as, as the year progresses, I'm going to be sending other things home. But just for us to get started, I have the Play-Doh. And talking about the fine motor uh, skills, I have this. This is really easy. It's like two chopsticks. And you know how sometimes you go to the Chinese restaurant and you can't really use the chopsticks? Or if you have a child and you ask for the little um, helper and these are some that I collected so I'm probably going to be sending this home in the box and then they can use it so this is really good for them to really strengthen their skills and I'm sending some pom-poms and if I'm going to be sending them some activities like you know little gumball picture with little circles for them to put the pom-poms and then tell them okay get the Get the pom-poms and put it in your gumball, making different things like that where they can use their fine motor skills. I also bought one at the Dollar Tree um, that is also the same kind of idea where they have to squeeze it. So again, all this squeezing is really, really good for them to, for the beginning of the year. I got some scissors and glue, of course, going to teach them how to use scissors. We're going to be gluing. I have an alphabet activity that I do where they have to cut the letters and glue. Oh, here's the little um, thing for Play-Doh. Of course, crayons, super important for little students to have crayons. I also want to get some colored pencils. I, I don't have it here yet, but I'm going to go get some colored pencils because I want them to kind of get used to, you know, coloring is so important for them as a prerequisite for for writing there's going to be some painting got a little uh, watercolor paints so it's pretty nice i can show them how to make other colors and a brush pencils very important I wonder how they're gonna sharpen these pencils. I might have to find a big sharpener because those pencils are thicker than the regular pencils. I got erasers, this is from my school, but I also gonna throw in one of those because I think they erase better. 
my school is providing me with this and I think the Dollar Tree had some too writing boards and I am putting an extra dry erase markers I know that throughout the year I'm gonna have to be sending more because they dry out pretty quickly but this dry erase board saved my life last year when I would be telling them write your numbers write a letter draw a picture write your name and then I would say one two three show it to me and everybody would show their writing boards on my zoom screen and it was so easy and they love doing it so when we were doing the calendar they would be writing the number of the day and different activities but anyway i would not go without a dry erase board last year i did not have it so all i did is i got a little um, plastic sheet and i put a piece of paper i put a little um, thicker paper like a cardboard on the back and that was their writing board so you don't have to go buy it if you just get the plastic sheets and a piece of paper a little you know harder cardboard on the back and that's what they did with me last year but this year i'm going fancy with the writing boards and last but not least so far i have this little dot to dot pens i have some activities where they put dots on letters let me show you hold here on this here is the activity for the dots so they are going to be using their dot markers to to make dots on the letters i also have one that has to do with numbers and you know they love making pictures with those it's very easy for them to do it and they really enjoy it so i got this one at uh, teachers pay teachers i believe and has all the letters so and they used to love this activity so i'm sending that let me show you a few more activities that use the dots this one they put dots on the numbers here and then they create a path for the car all the way to the stop sign and another one that they really enjoy is this dabbing letters and they have to find the letter and put the dots so these are just a few of the activities that can be used with the dot marker i'm also sending a binder i don't know if you saw me at the dollar tree binding a binder i totally recommend that and inside the binder i'm putting some letters so when we sing the abc they can follow along but most of all i'm putting this tracing letters so they can use their dry erase uh, markers and trace letters so i have the uppercase lowercase numbers and that's what i got so far i'm going to be adding to this binder and throughout the year i can be sending more things that they can be tracing and writing you know teaching is a work in progress and as we're learning to do this virtual teaching and all that i'm sure to be adding more things and if i do i'll make sure to let you know i so hope you have a wonderful year i hope everything goes well and i'll keep you posted and do some vlogs of what's going on with me and how i'm getting my year started hope you enjoyed this video hope to see you later bye bye